Hey, what's going on guys? In this video, I'm gonna share with you how to avoid spreading yourself too thin when it comes to building and growing your personal brand. guys, Henry Kaminsky, the brand doctor here from uniquedesigns.net with another quick little video for you to help you scale and build a reputable and profitable personal brand. And in this video, guys, I want to share with you some really cool tips that I've learned throughout my 12 years of being an entrepreneur and what has helped me grow and scale my business to the seven figure mark. So one of the things I want you to really understand and grasp is this. There's a difference between working on your business and working in your business. And we've all heard this before. You know, when we are focusing in on trying to do everything inside of our business, that overwhelm starts to sink in. That feeling of lack of progress starts to sink in. We start to question our ability. We start to question why we're doing this in the first place. This isn't fun anymore. Maybe I should try this over here. You know, this is a new opportunity over there. Maybe I should go there. And we start to wander. And then we realize a month, two months, six months, three years goes by. And looking back now saying, wow, was I on some hamster wheel? And so I really want to help you focus on time management and how important that is inside of your business and how important it is when it comes to growing your personal brand. So I want to give you some strategies here to really help you dial in and get focused so, you, so that you don't feel that pressure and you start to pick up momentum and you start to see that progress and then you start to see that business scale. You start to see you using your time more wisely. So one of the things that I want you to ask yourself is this. Is this task a good use of my time? And if it's not, delegate it out. There is a person or a software, or a solution for everything. If you're not a funnel builder, don't build funnels. If you're not a website designer, don't design your website. If I, there's all this do-it-yourself stuff out there. Listen, if you truly enjoy the creative process and you wanna do all that on your own, please do it. If you get joy out of it, do it. If you don't, Delegate it out. It's probably not a good use of your time. You need to do an inventory of what it is that you love to do. What are the needle moving projects? What are the needle moving tasks inside of your business? What do I mean by that? What tasks as the CEO of your business are going to help you grow the business, create the relationships, and really help your audience connect with you and your business and how your businesses solves their problems. So really want you to get focused in on this. The next thing I want you to ask yourself is, is it time to build a team? Okay, I was just on a client call with one of my clients down in South Africa yesterday. And he was like, Henry, how do you do this? How do you have a blog that you, that you contribute to every week? How do you have a podcast? How do you have a YouTube channel? How, how are you on social media all day long? How are you working with clients? How are you getting these big projects done? <laughs> I've created a tremendous team around me. There's 12 to 15 people at any given time working inside of Unique Designs. I have a Facebook team that helps me run Facebook ads. I have a YouTube strategist and a team that helps me publish these videos and get them optimized and really help me stay focused on what types of content I should be putting out there. And if I start to deviate, they pull me back in, which is great, they keep me accountable. I have a business coach that I meet with once a month that really helps me stay focused on the mission and the, and the vision and helps me get rid of those blind spots and those questions that constantly eat at us. 
right? Am I, am I spending my time and energy on this? Is this something that I should be focusing my time and energy on? And this coach helps me get that perspective, right? I have a team of designers that do all the social media design and brand identity design. I have a coder, I have a project manager that handles the team. This is the infrastructure that I've built that has helped me scale. And I don't feel like the walls are closing in at all. Sometimes we get busy days and I gotta jump in and get my hands dirty a little bit and I have no problem doing that. But I couldn't imagine doing that every day because then nothing would get done and the business would suffer because it wouldn't grow. Okay, it's lacking the nutrients to grow. I want you to look at your business as a living organism. If you're not feeding it the proper nutrition, it's going to die. It's that simple. And I don't wanna see that happen to your business. You probably have an amazing skill set that solves a big problem for your clients. Yet, you're trying to do everything inside of the business and it's, and it's the walls are pressing in and you're feeling trapped. And I don't wanna see that happen to you. So let's recap real quick. I want you to ask yourself, this one I forgot, I wanna add this one in. When do I work best? When am I most productive? What time of day, at night or in the morning? There was a study that showed that Entrepreneurs that did their most creative work in the morning, 72% 70, of them were more successful. That's when I do my creative work. That's when I really do go into study mode and really learn my craft and continue to read and, and build my expertise. I do all of that in the morning. I do, all my, I do all of my team building in the morning. It's when I'm the best. Client calls can be spread out throughout the day, but that's when I am at my peak. So that's a question for you. The second question is, am I focusing my time and attention on exercises or tasks that move the needle when it comes to revenue? Are these high revenue tasks? Are these helping me grow the business, build connections, and create the strategy that makes all this happen. That's our responsibility as CEO of ourselves and our business, all right? The next thing is, is it time to build the team? Have you hit that glass ceiling? Have you hit that level of overwhelm where you need to start building a ta team around you and start delegating those tasks out, creating those processes and systems, and really scaling this business to the next level, okay? I could tell you that it's not as hard as you think if you have the proper guidance. <laughs> I didn't figure this out on my own. I hired people to help me build the frameworks, and build the systems, and then I started to deploy them. And now look what happens. You got a seven-figure business. You have more time than, than ever. In the 12 years I've been in business, I have more time than I do now than I ever have. But Henry, I'm just starting out. Doesn't matter. Let's start working smarter. Let's start investing back into ourselves and in our businesses. So we grow. So we give our business the nutrients it needs to prosper. So I'll leave you with that, guys. Drop some comments below. I would love to hear back what your thoughts are on this particular topic. What, or what are some things you do to manage time and to be more productive, okay? I would love to hear back from you. Listen, guys, if this is valuable to you, please share this video. If you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button and join us in the community tab on this channel. I would love to interact with you more and really learn where your struggles are and what I can do to help you take your personal brand to the next level. And speaking of personal brands, don't forget to check out my personal brand training. The link is in the description below. It's really gonna help you define your personal brand, help you attract the quality clients that you're looking to work with on a consistent basis and how you need to show up to your marketplace to find those people. So have an amazing day, guys, and I'll catch you on the next video soon. Take care.